For sooth it was told to Joab that the king wept and bewailed his son. And the victory in that day was turned into mourning to all the people. For the people heard that it was said in that day, the king make his sorrow on his son. And the people were skewed to enter into the city in that day, as the people turned and fleeing from battle was wont to bow away. And the king covered his head and cried with great voice, My son Absalom, Absalom, my son. Therefore Joab entered to the king into the house and said, Thou hast shamed today the cheers of all thy servants that have made safe thy life, and the life of thy sons and of thy daughters, and the life of thy wives, and the life of thy secondary wives. Thou lovest them that hate thee, and thou hatest them that love thee. And thou hast showed today that thou reckest not of thy dukes and of thy servants. And verily I have known now that if Absalom lived, and all we had been dead, that it should please thee. Now therefore rise up, and go, for, and go thou forth, and speak thou, and make satisfaction to thy servants. For I swear to thee by the Lord, that if thou shalt not go forth, soothly, not one man shall dwell with thee in this night, and this shall be worse to thee than all the evils that came on thee from thy young waxing age till into this present time. Therefore the king rose up and sat in the gate, and it was told to all the people that the king sat in the gate, and all the multitude came before the king. For so Israel fled into their tabernacles, and all the people strived in all the lineages of Israel, and said, The king delivered us from the hand of all our enemies, and he saved us from the hand of Philistines. Now he hath fled from the land for Absalom. Certainly Absalom, whom we anointed upon us, is dead in battle. How long be ye still, and bring not again the king? And the council of all Israel came to the king. And King David sent to Zadok and to Abiathar the priest, and said, Speak ye to the greater men in birth of Judah, and say ye, Why came ye the last to bring again the king into his house? Soothly the word of all Israel came to the king, that they would bring him again into his house. For the king said, Ye shall say these things to the people. Ye be my brethren, ye be my bone and my flesh. Why the last bring ye again the king? And, he, and say ye to Amasa, Whether thou art not my bone and my flesh, God do these things to me, and add these things too, if thou shalt not be master of chivalry, chivalry before me in all time after Joab. And David bowed to him the heart of all men, of Judah as one man. And they sent to the king and said, Turn thou again, and all thy servants. And the king turned again and came till to Jordan. And all Judah came till to Gilgal to meet the king and to lead him over the Jordan. But Shimei, the son of Gera, the son of Benjamin, of Bacharim, hasted and came down with the men of Judah into the meeting of King David with a thousand men of Benjamin and Ziba the child of the house of Saul, and fifteen sons of him, and twenty servants were with him, and they break into the Jordan before the king. And they passed over the fords, that they should lead over the house of the king, and do thy behest of the king. Soothly, Shimei, the son of Gera, kneeled before the king, when he had passed now Jordan, and said to the king, My lord the king, a reckon thou not wickedness to me, neither have thou mind of the wrongs of thy servant in the day which thou, my lord the king, wentest out of Jerusalem. Neither set thou, king, those wrongs in thine heart. For I, thy servant, acknowledge my sin. And therefore today I came, the first of all the house of Joseph, and I came down into the meeting of my lord the king. And Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, answered and said, Whether Shimei, that cursed the Christ of the Lord, shall not be slain for these words. And David said, What is it to me and to you? ye sons of Zeruiah, why, ye be, why be ye made to me today into Satan, that is, adversary? Therefore, whether a man shall be slain, slain today in Israel, whether I know not me, whether I know not me made king today on Israel. And the king said to Shimei, Thou shalt not die. And the king swore to him. And Mephibosheth, the son of Saul, came down with unwashed feet, with his beard unclipped, into the coming of the king. And Mephibosheth had not washed his clothes from the day in which the king went out of Jerusalem till to the day of his coming again in peace. When at Jerusalem he had come to the king, the king said to him, Mephibosheth, why camest thou not with me? 
And he answered and said, My lord the king, my servant despised me. And I thy servant said to him, That he should have saddled the ass to me, and I should ascend, and I should go with the king. For I thy servant am crooked. Moreover, and he accused me, thy servant to thee, my lord the king. But thou, my lord the king, art as the angel of God. Do thou that that is pleasant to thee. For the house of my father was no but guilty to the death of my lord the king. Suthly thou hast set me thy, thy servant amongst the guests of the bo thy board. What therefore have I of just complaint? Either what may I more cry to the king? And the king said to him, What speakest thou more? That that I have spoken is steadfast. Thou and Ziba part the possessions. And Mephibosheth answered to the king, Yea, take ye all things. After that my lord the king turned again peaceably into his house. And Barzillai of Gilead, a full eld man, came down from Rogalim and led the king over Jordan also to pursue him over the flood. And Barzillai of Gilead was full eld, that is, Danu! was full eld, that is, of fourscore years. And he gave meats to the king when the king dwelled in castles, for Barzillai was a full rich man. And so the king said to Barzillai, Come thou with me, that thou rest securely with me in Jerusalem. And Barzillai said to the king, How many be ye the days of the years of my life that I go up with the king into Jerusalem? I am a fourscore years today. Whether my wits be quick to deem sweet thing ever bitter, sweet thing either bitter, either meat and drink, may delight thy servant, either may I hear more the voice of singers, either of singsters, why is thy servant to be a charge to my lord the king? I thy I thy servant shall go forth a little from the Jordan with thee. I have no need of this yielding, but I beseech thee that I thy servant turn again and die in my city, and be buried beside the sepulchre of my father and of my mother. For sooth, my Chimam is thy servant. My lord the king, go he with thee, and do thou to him that seemeth good to thee. Therefore the king said to Barzillai, Chimam, go forth with me, and I shall do to him whatever thing pleaseth thee. And thou shalt get all thing and that, that thou askest of me. And when all the people and the king had passed Jordan, the king abode, and the king kissed Barzillai, and blessed him, and he turned again into his place. Then the king passed forth into Gilgal, and Chinnam with him. And all the people of Judah had led the king over, and over the half part of only of the people of Israel was present. Therefore the men of Israel came together to the king, and said to him, Why have our brethren, the men of Judah, stolen thee, and have led the king and his house over Jordan, and all the men of David with him? And each man of Judah answered to the men of Israel, For the king is near of kin to me. Why art thou upon this thing? Whether we have eaten anything of the king's, either gifts be given to us, and a man of Israel answered to the men of Judah and said, I am greater by ten parts to the king, and David pertaineth more to me than to thee. Why hast thou done wrong to me? And it was not told to me the former, that I should bring again my king. For so the men of Judah answered harder to the men of Israel, 